And it's quite interesting why uh, St. Paul would spend three years here. And I think it's the challenge of this red light city. Uh, I sometimes call it the Southern California of its day <laughs> in terms of uh, the, uh, the open city in so many ways. Uh, prostitution, uh, fortune telling, wizardry, uh, the black arts as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, the, the Greek term is aphasia grammata, meaning the Ephesian writings, the magical texts and that kind of thing. And you recall one of Paul's successes when he did get to Ephesus was to have these trashy uh, magical texts put in a big pile and burned up. Uh, 50,000 drachmas worth. That's a tremendous sum. And so he was very successful at that point. Uh, until the silversmiths, of course, didn't like him because he was talking. Uh, he, he delivers a line, as a matter of fact, that we don't find historically delivered by him, but it must have been there. Gods made with hands are not gods. I love it. it. It's a perfect a commandment against idolatry, isn't it? I'm sure that was on the uh, that slogan was on the, uh, the the chariot bumper stickers. You know, <laughs> God's made with hands are not God's, and so the silversmiths had made little statuettes of the god goddess Artemis and the temple, little models of her temple. Again, one of the seven wonders of the world. It was four times as big as the Parthenon in Athens, so it had drew pilgrims from all over the Mediterranean world and those who were in trouble with the law as well. And so Paul then was uh, digging into their business, obviously. And the result was the great silversmiths riot, which took place in the great theater at Ephesus, where they shouted for two hours on end, great is Artemis of the Ephesians, great is Artemis of the Ephesians, not Diana, that's a King James translation. We're in Greece, let's use the Greek term. And by the way, Artemis is quite different from the Diana figure in ancient Rome. Uh, here she's the sister of Apollo, the goddess of the hunt and so forth. No, the, uh, Artemis at Ephesus is a, a fertility goddess. Uh, instead of the usual two breasts for a woman, and she's covered with breasts and eggs on the side and so on. There's a statue yet in the museum there showing what Artemis was really like. And so, uh, again, you have uh, pilgrims coming and also culprits of all kinds and criminals coming because of the temple being a sacrosanct area. You couldn't get in trouble with the law when you were there in Ephesus.